What's up guys, Connor John here, and today we are talking camera cages. The pros, the cons, and whether or not you should get one for your camera. Roll that intro. Let's start with the number one reason you should get one, and that's protection for your camera. Our cameras are not cheap. Your tripod is going to get knocked over with your camera on it. You are going to drop your camera. These things are going to happen. Now, when you get a camera cage, you're adding quite a bit of protection of your camera, which is going to prolong the life of your camera and keep it looking and filming like new. With this added protection, you are adding some weight to your camera as well. But over time, you will start to miss that run and gun feel of the camera without the cage. Another thing I don't like about the added weight is that when I'm trying to balance it on my gimbal, it actually is a little bit harder to balance and I can feel the motors of the gimbal working a little bit harder. Another great reason to get a cage is for all of the attachment points. This means that you can mount just about anything from small little lights to your external monitor to microphones and you can get really creative with how you want to set things up on your camera. With my camera cage on, I'm able to easily move from one tripod to another to my slider without having to use a quick release plate or screw the camera in manually. Another thing I love is the ability to add handles to the camera like the top mounted handle which I use quite often. This handle is going to be great if you want to get those low to the ground shots without having to awkwardly hold your camera and can also help you get some smooth shots with different contact points. Now while some of the handles make it more comfortable to handle the camera and give you some smoother footage, overall I personally like the ergonomic feel of the camera outside of the cage compared to in the cage. It just feels better and more natural. Now one thing that can be seen as a pro or a con is that it makes you look more professional. Obviously this is a good thing if you're trying to get paid gigs. How it could hurt you is if you want to film you and your friends just having a good time. You want people to feel natural on camera. Think about how you feel when your friend whips out their iPhone and starts recording you. You don't think too much of it. But imagine that compared to someone whipping out, say, a production camera and it's just this huge camera in your face. So having your camera in a cage makes it look more professional but can also make it more intimidating for the person in front of the lens. So here's my a7 III, and I know a lot of you guys are looking at this lens. Don't worry, video on this coming soon. One problem that I have with both my a7 III cage and my a6500 cage is that it always shakes. No matter how hard I tighten it, it doesn't take long before my camera starts to shake inside the cage. But luckily with the a7 III, it came with this magnetic screwdriver, which means I can easily take this out, tighten the bottom up, and I find myself having do that quite often. With both cages that I have, not quite a perfect fit. I want to be able to access everything quickly and easily, and the battery door will not open unless I really squeeze the camera into the cage. So what it really comes down to is whether or not you find yourself frequently putting attachments onto your camera. If you're just doing photos, I highly doubt you're going to be putting many attachments on besides say just a trigger for your strobe. Now, if you're focusing on video, I would put it in a cage. The added attachment points really comes in handy when you have an external monitor, a microphone, some lights, and moving from different tripods and sliders. So that's why I keep both of my cameras in the cages at all times. Please leave a comment below on whether or not you use a camera cage, and if you do, what camera you have and why you prefer that cage. Thank you for watching the first video of this channel. This channel is going to be chock full of gear reviews, tips, tricks, and hacks, and a little bit of fun along the way. I am a skydiver, wingsuit pilot, rock climber, hiker, so we are going to have some adventures here and there with the main focus being on upping your photo and video game. Until the next video, peace.